Hi, my name is Mike. This is part two, what Jesus went through for us. Um, as I said in part one, Jesus was uh, whipped and by um, with metal balls and pieces of bone and also humiliated, spat upon, beaten and crucified. And in, in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, before all that, he also uh, was in great anguish. Um, it says in Luke 22, 44, and in this Jesus' anguish, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. So what does that mean? Well, according to Dr. Frederick Zuberg, Chief Medical Officer in New York, it is well known it is called hematoritis, if I said it right. Around the sweat glands, there are multiple blood vessels in a net-like form under pressure of great stress. The vessels constrict, then as the anxiety passes, the blood vessels dilate to the point of rupture. The blood goes into the sweat glands, and as the sweat glands produce a lot of sweat, it pushes the blood to the surface, coming out with droplets of blood. Also, uh, remember the time that when Jesus was pierced in his side, water and blood came out. Um, well, um, it says here that um, he, Jesus, as we said in the last part, suffered a hypoletic shock. Also, that causes fluid to gather in a sack around the heart and around the lungs. Thus, gathering of fluid in the membrane around the heart is called precardial effusion, and fluid around the lungs is called prenatal effusion. This explains when Jesus was thrust with a spear in his side after he died, that blood and water came out, as recorded in John 1934. So, um, and not only that, also, he was also separated from his father for a time. Um, Matthew 27 45, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And if that wasn't enough, uh, as Psalms 22 14 it states, I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint, my heart turned to wax. Um, and it has melted within me. The weight of Jesus' body on the cross would have dislocated his joints as well and would have left, and it will be felt in every bone of his body. Do you see how much Jesus uh, loved us and God sent his only son? That's how much they, lo they loved us. Don't you think it's time to give your life to Jesus? He gave all, his all for you. Now you should give all his all to him. Um, through Jesus Christ, as it states in Scripture, at Romans six twenty three, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And John three thirty six, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Nothing we can do can get us into heaven. So you must go through Jesus Christ, put faith in Jesus Christ to go to heaven. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish up and I'm going to leave a video. Um, an interesting video gives you more information what Jesus went through uh, before his death on the cross. Um, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there that hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait as time is running out. We're living in the last days. God bless. Bye-bye.